Hi there, folks. Uh, I wanted to show you the leather that we've been using for the last uh, three months, you know, how it comes to us, what we do to it. Um, so for the last three odd months, we've been using uh, an Italian vegetable tanned leather uh, from a tannery called uh, Conceria Yankee. And um, let me unroll this guy and show it to you. So this is how it comes. It has a beautiful grain. Uh, very pink color to start with. It's undyed, uh, so we dye it ourselves. But there are there are a couple of processes uh, before we can actually start uh, even dyeing this stuff. So when this comes out of uh, straight out of tannage and is dried, it's much stiffer than how it is right now. Um, the way the leather comes to us, um, it's primarily for use uh, for shoe making, uh, the uppers of shoes. And uh, for that particular purpose, they uh, make the leather undergo a process called staking. So uh, the whole point of that staking operation is to make the leather more supple, so that um, tanneries, I'm sorry, so that shoemakers can use it in a specific fashion. It's not always the case, but that's how this is done. Um, so we need to, you know, we take a few steps to sort of reverse that process. And what we're doing is we make the whole I do wet, and I'll show you how it looks like after that. And you know the change of properties, but um, we make it wet, and then we let it dry really slowly and really flat. Uh, we use yeah, right there. So we use this guy um, after it's wet to make sure that see these wrinkles here. These are made flat by pushing it out. This is a process called slicking, but also sort of combined operations called setting and slicking. So what you're doing is setting out the wrinkles in the leather, and you're also making the grain a little tighter. Uh, so the end result is that the surface of the leather feels a lot smoother, and when it dries out, it's also uh, a lot firmer than this particular piece of uh, leather is. All right, so this, this guy is a piece of uh, the same kind of leather that has been slicked out and uh, slicked and set it out. Uh, it also has something called gum drag can applied on the back uh, to make the flesh side of the leather smooth. Uh, now let me show you how it's different. Okay. So you see this is like, it's floppy, right? Uh, if you make a wallet with this, it will still be a nice wallet, but it just won't have the kind of firmness I personally like in water. Um, yeah, so see this? It's firm. Whereas this guy is loose. And you probably won't be able to see it from there, so I'll show you another shot. But the surface of this is much smoother than this guy. Okay, so let me show you that. Okay, let's see if we can really see a difference between the two it's not the greatest camera but if you can see that stuff that's how most of the hide looks and after it's been slicked the grain becomes smoother it's just the action of a hard surface uh, against the leather that you know basically smooths it out all right now let's look at a hide that has been dyed See that? That is uh, a color we call uh, chestnut brown. It's, uh, well, it's looking a lot darker right now. Let me turn off the light. All right, that's much better. So this has been dyed with uh, a non-toxic uh, water-based dye from a company called Giardini. So these are the guys that we buy uh, leather dye from. And it takes uh, a lot more coats than I expected. It takes about five coats of dye, but the end result is pretty fantastic. Uh, it also makes the leather significantly water resistant. So that is always a good thing. 
All right, let's talk about more colors now. So what we have on the website right now are these guys. So this is a money clip wallet in this color. Um, this is a La Peace Blue money clip wallet. And uh, this guy is your black. We're experimenting with a few more colors. Um, and I have two right now that I'm going to show to you and, and I would love some feedback on them. Leave me a few comments below. All right, so here it goes, here it goes. Olive green and forest green. Tell me which one you like more. All right, so uh, for those of you who don't know what vegetable tanning is, um, it's a process by which rawhide is turned into leather with extracts from tree barks, uh, leaves and even fruits of certain trees. Um, and the advantage really is that you get a leather that is much firmer, gets a fantastic patina. It does take a heck of a lot longer to produce than chrome tan leather. Chrome tan leather usually takes between two to three days to go from rawhide to uh, you know, completed tannage, whereas vegetable tan leather uh, takes anywhere between three weeks to six weeks for a normal tannage to get done. Not to mention that the vegetable tan leather just feels so much better. It gets a beautiful patina after use. And uh, yeah, I won't trade it for anything else. All right, folks, so that's it for now. Um, and I promise that I will come back with another video. I've been really bad at doing videos consistently, but I am going to do more of these uh, on a regular basis now. All right, so that's it for today. See you later.